Let me wrap up the topic of copyright with Creative Commons. This is a reduced copyright, or some people say it's copy left, meaning there's a little bit of copyright left in a Creative Commons license. We have established that copyright is written into the U.S. Constitution. But what does it take to start the process of protecting something with copyright? You have a camera, you take a photo with your camera. What do you have to do to protect this creative work? A photo is a, is a creative work. What do you have to do to get it protected with copyright? The answer is nothing. As soon as you save your work, it is automatically protected by copyright and it won't go into the public domain until 70 years after you've died. So it's gonna be protected by copyright for a long time. But what if you want to let other people use your photo without requiring them to contact you and ask for permission? You can license your photo with a Creative Commons license. Creative Commons was invented so that people could share their work so that others could use those works to create new works. There are six different licenses for Creative Commons. All of them have one component in common. That component is attribution. Instead of contacting a person and asking for, for permission and negotiating a contract to use a work, all you have to do is give credit to the person who owns the copyright. In fact, all of the licenses require attribution. Some of them require a little bit more. For instance, attribution non-commercial means you have to give credit and you're not allowed to use the work to make money. You can use it any other way, but not to make money. Attribution share alike means, in addition to giving credit, you have to uh, add the Creative Commons license to anything that you create. So if I use your photo in my book, and your photo is Creative Commons, I would have to license my book, Creative Commons. The last one is uh, no derivatives. That means the original has to be used in the form it was originally presented. So uh, if you have a book, I could not make a movie. If you have a, a song, I could not do a remix. Now I could use your originals any way I wanted, but I couldn't turn them into something else. Now I said there were six licenses. The other two are merely combinations of these uh, first four licenses. So a total of six different ways to license a Creative Commons work. Let me show you how attribution works. Hop out to Google, do a search for dog glasses. You're going to find this really cute uh, quirky wearing glasses. This happens to be my dog. And when I don't know the person who owns this website, but when this person used my picture, which is licensed Creative Commons, they had to, uh, they had to give me attribution. They had to put my name associated with the photo, which they did. This person has fully met the requirements of Creative Commons by giving me credit for this photo. Now, if you click on my name, it'll take you out to my Flickr account where you can see this photo is licensed Creative Commons. Flickr is a great site if you're looking for photos that are licensed this way. If you go to the Creative Commons section, you'll see that there are millions of photos that are licensed with each one of the options in Creative Commons licensing. Altogether, Flickr has almost 350 million photos that are licensed with Creative Commons licenses. There are about 100,000 new photos that are added every single day. So this uh, uh, database of photos is rapidly growing. If you'd like uh, something other than photos, let's say you want some music, you could go out to a site like Jamindo. They have 200,000 pieces of music that you can use without wor worrying about the copyright. If you want video, you could go to YouTube. Do a search for cats and then filter showing only the Creative Commons videos. There are more than 200,000 cat videos on YouTube and these videos are licensed with Creative Commons. All of the videos that I put on YouTube, I license Creative Commons.
back on the Creative Commons website, if you go to Licenses, Find Licensed Content, they have a search engine that will find any kind of content you want, licensed Creative Commons. There's a link right here to Wikimedia. If you go out to Wikimedia, this is the site that holds all the multimedia content for Wikipedia. So everything on Wikipedia is licensed Creative Commons. Just scroll to the bottom of any page and you'll see license, attribution, share alike. So with all of this Creative content, uh, Creative Commons content that's out there, teachers should never have to worry about using copyrighted material. There's so much Creative Commons material, you can just use that content and you don't have to worry about copyright or fair use.